sure. Jack ca- Jack Cast. Jack colon a jackass podcast. Jack Cat. I. Why hasn't We Man already done this? The podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we fed We Man to a bird, to a big bird. We did surgery on a We Man. We did surgery on We Man. <laughs> All right, fine. That would be cool if they did surgery on We Man. So you gained your voice back. I mean, a little bit. I can hear you. So now I'd, I say you, I'd say you gained it. Yeah. You lost it. But I can't sing. And then you lifted up the gain. I've gained it. <laughs> this voice. The guy who invented the like, megaphone, like public, public projecting of speaking... Uh, he thought Bullhorn. he thought he was responsible for Hitler. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> the guy who invented like the ability to like give a speech to like a group was like, "Fuck! If I didn't do that, Hitler wouldn't have come." That to guy, power. if he just been talking to like a group of guys, there's no way he would have gotten this far. No, exactly. <laughs> but if you get this guy, and you can talk to ten thousand yeah. folks at once. That's funny though, because if you would have lived a little bit longer, I don't think Hitler is very funny at all. No, but if you and I don't know what you're laughing at. If you would have lived long enough to see Led Zeppelin tear up an arena, yeah. you would have been like, "Never mind, it came Never out of the mind. wash." Woo! Hell yeah, Sabbath! <laughs> Sabbath! Woo! God damn! Da 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 da. It's like a, it's a wonderful life thing where they're like, you regret making the the megaphone yeah. and speaker technology. But what about this? And then all of a sudden it's the 90s and he's in an arena and everyone's happy and there's just a guy on stage going, Hickory Dickory Doc. <laughs> just a guy on Glockenspiel real loud. No, I meant uh, Andrew Dice Clay. Oh, He okay. was at a Dice Clay concert. I thought you meant a child just saying Hickory Dickory Why would Doc. they be at a big arena? I don't know, man. I'm tired. I've had a busy Who day. Play- <laughs> I've been up since eight, running around dealing with three different government bureaucracy agencies. Whoa, government bureaucracy agencies? Yeah, GBA. Some of those words seem redundant. I think they're all Which redundant. Is what the government. Is. I could have just said I did stuff. What would the, what'd you do with the government? Well, I decided that I was going to live a life free of anxiety, so I decided that I would um, finally get a driver's license oh. and uh, insurance and get my tags renewed. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes Eric a while to get here because he's constantly turning down side streets because Waze tells him a cop's coming up. <laughs> yeah. I decided I might like to not start my car every day going like, all right, well. Let's look around. Get ready for jail. Let's, look <laughs> Let's do a quick scan. <laughs> I decided that I should either learn, I should either start memorizing numbers or... Or get my uh, car insurance yeah. shit and all that done. Because plus you can't like you can't you can't road rage out. Yeah. No. You, yeah. You, know you can't. I mean? No. You got to be a very timid driver. You got to be like no, but not even driving. But like if something happens, you can't be like motherfucker. That was my goddamn lane, you son of a bitch. Like, and that's the most fun part about driving. I know. I had to tone down my road rage real hard for the past uh, yeah. like two years. Like, well, my t- my tags expired like. Eight months ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what is a tag? If a ta- it ta- if, if the tag on my jeans expired, it means I own them. Yeah, I, and I also I tagged my car. I t- and that expired because you wrote <laughs> Eric Sorgel 2022. Yeah, and that expired. <laughs> that expired. So I've been doing that for three months now. You wrote Buzz Nuts 2020 is <laughs> your new name. Wrote burr. Burr. <laughs> That's been long expired. Yeah. <laughs> Very expired. <laughs> I heard yeah, no. I went down to the uh, to the place to get my driver's license done. I went down. And they to were like, the... "What took you so long?" <laughs> they, they, I would have laughed. You walked in there, just like Eric Sorgel. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a gun! Goddamn! I've been waiting for you. <laughs> get over here, you son of a gun! That'd be great. They're just like, uh, "Hey, we can't renew uh, your tat." They see that you have car keys. <laughs> and they go, we can't, we can't renew your tags right now. Why don't you go like, get lunch? Here's a coupon for a place about two miles away. Great good lunch. And then they push a button, and then the cops are like, "All right, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> go over by the, go over by the licensing place, folks." 
There's no way this fucker can make it. That to, Q Doba's uh... not even real. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a facade. <laughs> you can't get to that Moe's and back in <laughs> time for in an hour. <laughs> He's definitely driving. <laughs> no, you should bust people like that. That's how they do it. Coupons, was, coupons are mostly how they get criminals. Imagine how cool it was when the cop. It'd be fun to make a really misguided movie where this guy's a hero. Yeah, but it's a cop in like the seventies who's like. You know what? All these kids are doing fucking drugs at these concerts. Let's just pull over everyone outside the concert. <laughs> and people are like, wow, this guy's a hero. <laughs> he raised a bunch of money by arresting he kids. He sucks. At a kid's <laughs> show. <laughs> and then it ends with, like, he's, his policies have raised over. <laughs> his policies have raised over $100 million. <laughs> for, for cops. Cops. Exclusively. Yeah. That was a big thing in Cleveland as they were like, uh... Cleveland rocks. He does rock. But apparently the Dave Matthews band had the most arrests out of anybody. Is that where they pooped? No, they pooped in... Uh, well, they pooped everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they, Chicago Dave's... is where they, they bus pooped. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny if the earth pooped. Would anyone be mad if they pooped in the Cuyahoga River? Uh, I think it'd probably be like, cool. Would it like... It'd be like, like on the cover of the Cleveland Scene magazine. flames. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like, it'd be like whoa! <laughs> They'd be like, hey, boys, thanks for helping clean up the river. <laughs> Technic- at a technical standpoint. <laughs> if we average it out, your shit's better than the chemicals. Oh, so you want to hear about my escapades? Yeah, so you went down, you go down to this place. I go downtown, which is... Uh, You're going downtown! It's the... Uh, or not downtown. It's on, like, 28th Street. Oh, it's yeah. a... Uh, it's a combat... Side, side town. It's uh. We don't have an uptown or downtown. You, we don't have an uptown, no, here, right? It, it there is suck. no uptown. We're ripped off. Yeah, we have we, a West End though. All we get is yeah. We have West End. There's no. There's no North. I guess the no. no I mean Indiana. Yeah, I guess Indiana is the North Side. North. I'm in North Louisville. Yeah. Well, that's in that's New Albany. That'd be funny if there was like a tiny little shitty city uh, there, like, like Sellersburg was like we're North Louisville. Yeah. It's like fuck you. Fuck you. We're confusing everyone. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I went out there and it's, uh, it's a combination, uh, Pizza Hut? <laughs> shut Taco up, Bell. shut up, don't get, don't get in front of me. <laughs> it's a combination place to get your driver's license renewed slash main TARC terminal. Oh, <laughs> so any kind of transportation that you need to get dealt with, you great. can do it there. It's also where it's like, you got a car. Come here. You don't have a car. Get over here. Yeah. <laughs> we got a place. I'm on at the, the combination dark <laughs> stop slash driver's license location. <laughs> we got a big stretch on the roof. You can land a Cessna. <laughs> <laughs> we got a helipad. Yeah. <laughs> Out on the South Campus. <laughs> While you wait, try our zip line. <laughs> That's great. A guy flies in on a wingsuit. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> oh, finally, the landing zone. <laughs> that must happen a lot, though. Some guy just had the bus, and he's like... I'm fucking sick of this shit. And then he just walks over to the license. And he's like, give me, all right, what do I gotta do? Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> what the fuck do I gotta do? <laughs> gotta buy a car. Anyone here selling their car? <laughs> Come on, let's make this happen. This guy in the, it's raining out, and this guy in the, in the little bus cube thing farted. I don't wanna fucking hang out here anymore. I'm buying a car. <laughs> Can I buy the bus? <laughs> but we got so I got in there and then um I walked It's a in Mr. There. Magoo where he goes in and he's trying to get his license renewed <laughs> and he accidentally gets uh, he starts driving the bus. He's like, whoa, hold on. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> where was the next stop? I thought this was the, the hand dryer. I thought I was taking my driving test. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Now all of a sudden I'm driving the 25. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> anyway, Jesus Christ. What? Fucking make this a show again. 
<laughs> Eric just going, going what's that track. sound? And then me going, well, hey, what's sound- what you got in that bag? <laughs> well, that was very just, you, I, we all heard that. We, we all, we heard, all heard the sound. sound. Um, so I walk in and there's like a line and there's this guy who's like. Everyone's beeping. <laughs> boop, boop. We can't wait till we get our cars. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> They all got little, like, bicycle horns. Yeah. Honk, honk. I'm just practicing. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta take my driver's test yeah. soon. <laughs> They're all playing Gran Turismo on their Switch. You're waiting in line for, like, uh, your driving exam. You're, like, 16. You're like, oh, I'm getting my license. I'm so excited. And they're like, all right, next up, David. And then you and another guy named David get up, and you both run into each other because you're so excited. <laughs> They're like, all right, failed. Failed already. <laughs> you thought that stop sign painted on the ground was a goof? No. <laughs> that cop is going to arrest That's you. That's there for excited teens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're going to have to ch- exchange insurance information. <laughs> <laughs> Who insures your uh, your? You kicks? guys are you guys are swapping high school IDs right yeah. now. That would be cool. Go to a different high school, trick everybody. <laughs> the worst Freaky Friday. Like, Did you ever go to just the wrong class for fun? Well, I mean, I used to like be like, I got to go to the bathroom, and then I'm just gone for 20 minutes walking around. I mean, yeah, but everybody did walking that. into other classes. Did you ever just like stick around in a class for too long? I did that a couple times where I would just stay in the same class. For, My like, school was too periods. small to like do that kind of shit. Okay, uh, but I would, I would do like the pop in, and then in college, I like. Uh, and sometimes I went to the wrong class. Sometimes I went to the wrong time, and you'd be way too high. And I would walk in. One time, I walked into the history of math and science. <laughs> the history of it. I took the history of math and science, and then I walked in for the for for the. It was the second day of class, so I should have already known what time class was. Yes, <laughs> I walked in, and it's like ten thirty a.m. And the class is already there, and I'm like, ah, fuck. I'm it started at ca- nine. Casual late. What, a, a minute. All these nerds are already here. Who gives a shit? So I sit down, and then fifteen minutes later, he's like, all right. Our hour and fifteen minute class is now over. Good for you. Yeah, just me strolling an hour late. Good for you. <laughs> I'm trying to catch the last little bit. I just need. I just I, want to see what the homework is. I just want to taste it today. <laughs> this is a chaser. A little snifter. I went to. You was my... probably talking about Plato earlier. I know that shit. Yeah, I don't Plato, know. famously a mathematician. Well, yeah. No, that was actually a lot of it. it was a. Uh, Plato is a mathematician of the mind, baby. Oh, yeah, exactly. But that's what math is. He divided the, the brain. No, baby. so much math and science is just like uh, Muslim people being like, we didn't know which way Mecca is or we're all going to die. And then they're like, all right, well, we got to fucking figure out a clock. Good, mo- good motivator. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, if people weren't worried about the devil killing them, we that's wouldn't great, have fucking, we wouldn't have so many numbers. That's a great, that's, uh, I would love to We'd see We'd have this, less numbers. I would love to see the Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross scene of that. Yeah. Of like, listen, we got to figure out what's north. We got to figure out what's north. Do you want to fucking pray to the east, you son of a bitch? ABP, always be praying. Always be praying. <laughs> That's right. smart too, because then then they come across with a big sword. You're... We could have talked that. We could have took that bit farther, but what? I feel like I came in with a weak lead. Glenn Gary, hey, <laughs> ABP. That's a weak lead. Always. I'm be... not giving you. I'm not giving you no. the good leads. I'm not giving you good. What leads. What was the always be a uh, uh, crouching towards heaven? <laughs> <laughs> always be crawling towards the law. <laughs> Always be thinking of the caliphate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, so I walk into this license place. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, you're 15 minutes late for math class. <laughs> for math class. <laughs> All of a sudden, I remember I left my TI-83 yeah. at home. It's a repeat of my ACTs all over That'd again. That'd be fun to show up to the history of math and science, but with a big TI-83 character. Well, you should show up with an abacus. And you're just constantly, like, crunching numbers. They're, like, talking about the history of something, and you're just crunching numbers. Big calculator. guy, <laughs> my God, he's right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy, that guy didn't know numbers. That was 148 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I could only count to 12. <laughs> Minus one. So as I walk in, there's a line of people. 
And there's a guy who's standing there, and he goes, you got to go inside to sign in. And then immediately, everyone in line goes, don't listen to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what? Trickster. Right, hold on, what's happening? <laughs> Was that for fun or for villainy? What was he doing? I don't know what his uh, I don't know what his goal was. He was having a goof, or he's like, "That son of a bitch is going to take my spot behind I me later, in line." <laughs> I later learned that he was. You do have to sign in. Yeah, but they want you to sign. Everyone in. Everyone else was fucking with no, you. No, 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 no. They want you to sign in when you're at the front of the line. Yeah. So he had had to sign in at some point, maybe. And then he was like, everybody got to sign in, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think that he was the one uh, telling the truth and everyone else was fucking with you. <laughs> like a line of people are like, let's no. fuck with the next guy. I talked to people. And it was great because uh, there's there were two, like, it was like five windows. And like three of them were like, if you're going to pay with your card. And two of them were cash. And yeah. I was paying with cash. And so, there's like... Too bad you couldn't go through the drive-thru. I wish I could have gone through the drive-thru. That would have been illegal. But that's where they should really be putting the cop cars. That's how they get you. <laughs> At the beginning. Hey, drive through <laughs> of the... You can come drive through yeah. and get your license. Yeah, you just like... They just have a cop crouching yeah. behind a bush. <laughs> yeah. And then while you're in the line, he comes yeah. up. He's like, mind if I see that ID real quick? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, switch spots with me. There's a cop walking over here. <laughs> There's a cop galloping Switch up. Switch seats. There's a cop, there's a cop. on the sidewalk. There's a cop on a horse coming up at me. He just appeared out of the field behind us. Cops should lower in on cars. That would be lower cool. in on cars. Like if if uh like I, I like hop down. Like if you're getting a ticket and all of a sudden there's like a dun and the cops like on your roof. Like a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching The Boys. That sounds fun. Yeah, that's watching The Boys. <laughs> I've been watching The Boys. That sounds fun. Uh, you Listen, you put a different emphasis on No, not like that. that. It sounded like you were saying that watching The Boys sounds fun. I've been watching The Boys, and that sounds that fun. That sounds fun. Would you be a good guy or a bad guy? If I was in, if I, I don't was want part to spoil seven, it, but it seems like in the boys that some of the good guys are becoming bad guys. They don't seem like the nicest guys. No. Seems like the antithesis of a heroic person. Yeah, it almost Gotta seems be a like way to say that. it almost seems like it's an examination of what a superhero could be. Yeah. Has anyone ever done that before? Maybe like the most famous comic book of all it's time. It's a story. It's a superhero <laughs> story, but this time there's grit. Has there ever has there ever been a famous comic book that explored the the idea of what if superheroes were real people? It is really funny now. The idea of like. Because a lot of the superhero wave, they're like, no, this it's a superhero movie, but it's like bloody and like gory. Yeah, and it's like this guy's gonna fucking shove. It's his like fist. as opposed to what all those classic superhero movies where they're just polite, like there's fuzzy <laughs> handcuffs. <laughs> guys, just <laughs> yeah. Batman debates the yeah. Joker. <laughs> Yeah, where the Joker is in, like, a dog cage that he can just, like, pop open. Yeah, it's like, if wants. anything, it seems like that was the weirder, yeah, that's <laughs> like, niche the, that's version. A, that's a sort of a stranger genre. Yeah. It's like, there's a mass murderer. Let's put him in a rubber cage. Instead of gritty superheroes, it should be soft? childish superheroes. Yeah, it's like soft superheroes? Soft superheroes. Huh. Huh. Weird. Wow. Um, so... Ted Lasso with his lasso. I recently learned that that's not even a superhero show. Lasso? I thought Ted Lasso was like... like sort of like a Lone Ranger yeah, he's type. Like uh, getting him. His Jason Sudeikis with yeah. a big bull rope. Well, he's an American. He comes to Britain and he just ties up all these uh, corny Brits. Yeah. He goes, okay, mate. And then he lassos them. And then we in America... Raw high! Yeah. <laughs> we on the flip side got the guillotiner. <laughs> We got Tommy Guillotine. Oh, Tommy Guillotine. I came here to coach. Uh, 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 what's an American I'm sport? Old. I came here to coach competitive eating <laughs> <laughs> from Britain. Oh, Who do you, you know, remember the guy in the fuzzy fur coat? No. Broadway Joe. Namath. Oh, okay. Namath? <laughs> Namath? I barely have seen His him. His family got their name... 
Most people get it coming to America. His got it immigrating to Britain. And he was like, they were like, first name? And they were like, Joe. And then they were like, Namath? Sure. And he's like, I guess. Yes. That's, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Your name can't be yes. And then he's like, what? Have you not heard their music? <laughs> he's like, Your name's what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's on first? It was a whole thing. Who's on third down? Finally, a bad <laughs> who's on first. Who's on third down? <laughs> third to the down. Um, so, yeah. No, but I got I got a new side hustle out of all my uh, judicial uh, things that happened today. What? Because I had to get my tags renewed, too. And uh, I had to pay so much fucking money today. And then you started a line where you were like, this section... Uh, I can get you can do tag tag tags five dollars. Tags five and bucks. Like this is cheaper, and then you go over there and you just tag and run away, <laughs> and then you get five bucks <laughs> <laughs> and run away. You spray paint. That should be like a cooler. That should be an extreme. Man, if only Spike TV still existed. Oh my god! Right, tagging. Like, where it's, like, tag and graffiti. Oh, that'd be great. You have to spray paint other people. That'd be great. That would be... That, that and then the thing with the basketball and the trampolines. <sighs> so good. And then the... And the WNBA. And then the boob because hour. Because you gotta have... Now, the WNBA, because you gotta have... You know, you gotta show some ladies. Spike should buy the rights to the WNBA. They should. Spike and they should just have come really back. Misle- like Spike should come back and just be, like, a woman's sports <laughs> network. Like, woman... Like, W... Yeah, but have ads where you're, like... The hottest the ladies. The hottest ladies. Playing with the balls. Just for fellas. Yeah. <laughs> the fellas are going to love this. Guys love basketball and they love women. So Seems they're going to me, like, love. this is a slam dunk. They're going to love the WNBA. <laughs> Serena Williams is doing a commercial for them. The WNBA. And it's just a... Uh, it's on. It's on uh, Tucker Car. It's on Ben Shapiro's new. You know network. what I think they should call the WNBA, the W I N N B A, because it's a win. Yeah, they should do that. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, that's a great idea. <laughs> you just come up with that. <laughs> That's like a really good idea. Eric, I know you wrote that down somewhere. Let <laughs> me look really at your notebook. I know you wrote you better, that down. I hope you wrote that down with the date on it. <laughs> that, Did you mail that to yourself? That's history. I hope you mailed that to yourself. That's like the napkin from <laughs> Knives Out 2. Even knifier. Even knifier. Even sharper. <laughs> yeah, the first one was all about knives. The second one was all about a napkin. The second one... What's the third one going to be about? Fucking... Uh, Spoon? The menu? <laughs> was the menu the third Knives Out? What? Knives Out 3, crudite? <laughs> no, you don't even need a knife. He's been murdered by whisk. <laughs> <laughs> we think he's been whisked to the death. <laughs> but anyway, so I was at this place, and at one of the places I had to pay off like my parking tickets, which sucked. Because who wants to pay for that? Do they make you do it, like, in a row? Uh, like, do you show up and you're like, I'm trying to get my car shipped straight away? No, you have to go to all these different places. That's what I mean. And they're like, yeah. first, you got to go to criminal shit. No, I did have to leave a place and, like, go to a different... Like, I had to go to the first place, and they're like, you don't have insurance yet? And I'm like, no. And they're like... And I was like, well, I, like... Can you... Come on. I did the same thing that I always You're telling me you want me to drive more? (laughs) I know. I did the same thing that I always try and do in situations like that where I'm like, yeah, I know that's how it works, but it's like, it's just you and me, right? Like, yeah. What do you think? And And they did, she did what they always do in those situations. No, that works about, that that works about 50% of the time. You know that works about 50% of the time. I know you do that shit too. Not on, not with me. I go, I go, what does the book say? Then I go, sir, I follow the letter. And the law of the law. I know you do that shit too. Are you a letter or spirit guy? <laughs> letter of the law, spirit of the law. I'm more of a spirit guy. I'm a spirit of the You're guy. You're starting to feel like more I'm of a I'm a spirit letter. of the guy, and by that I mean I've drank a lot of brandy, you know, officer. <laughs> <laughs> by that I mean cognac is in my blood, legally, sir. Um, and I can't read letters. <laughs> but, so and then when I was getting my tags done, the lady was like, all right, well, you owe 
this much to Riverlink, and it was like two hundred and fifty fucking dollars. What? When are you going to Indiana? Well, if you don't pay, which I don't. Oh yeah, yeah. They fucking tack all these fees on. But I had already gone on Riverlink and paid off my Riverlink shit that was on the internet. Yeah. So I called them up and I was. Uh, I got. Sometimes you got to get a little yelly. Have you ever heard me get yelly on the phone? Oh, you mean yelling? I thought. Never mind. No, I don't have to get yellow on the phone. Uh, that's what Maybe. I thought. I never get yellow. I thought on you were the phone. you were going like, how dare you do this to me? I definitely don't act like that. <laughs> I on the thought. Phone. I meant yellow more in the western sense, not the eastern sense, like you seem to. Well, have, the yellow, uh, on yellow in the western sense would mean that you 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 didn't yell at him, and instead you're like, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. I was neither. What can I do? I wasn't racist or a coward. I was just hey, yelling. There's nothing racist about the great Asian people. There's nothing. Don't ra- don't say that Asians are racist. Nothing That's racist about up. Mickey Rooney. That's fucked up. They're saying Asians are racist. <laughs> You're wearing blackface, and someone's like, that's racist, and you're like, whoa, black people Looking, are not racist. Black people are never racist. <laughs> that's fucked up, man. That's crazy. Black people... Just because I'm dressed like a black person, you think I'm... You think black I'm people aren't even... Like black people Black are? people aren't even allowed to be racist in this yeah. country. They Only have to Asians. too much trouble. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so I got, like, a little loud on the phone with the person... Um, I was like, I already paid this. Is uh, I was like, you can't even build a website. I wanted the Sherman Bridge fucking fell down. You guys suck. I might have said some things like that. <laughs> and she's like, sir, I, I work in Dallas. I've, I've worked for 12 other companies right now. Uh, I'm, I don't really care. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then she said, all right, I'm going to connect you to a manager. And then she came back on and she was like, all right, well, the manager's busy, but how about do you want to pay $45 instead? And yeah. I was like. Yeah, that's fine. It works. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> so many of those things are with collection stuff in general. It's like they're like, they didn't get anything from you. It's about, they're like, it's all factored in there. Yeah. So then you got to go. Also, 20 of that is just for me to be crossing the bridge. I have $20 in toll fees. I was like, can you just yeah. keep that? And I can just fucking pay $25. And they were like, no, nah, it's like part of the deal. I'm like, that's not a deal. That's a deal. <laughs> that's a steal. Huh? No, you gotta get yourself a pass. No, I'm not getting. I don't fucking go over there. Uh, I don't have a pass. I wouldn't get a pass. You just gotta take the bridge, the, the secret one. Yeah, I know. The one that's under the water that only uh, cool I gotta kids take can the channel. Do. Only, only people. I gotta take cheese. the. I gotta take the channel. <laughs> you gotta take the channel. I gotta take the Spinelli's channel. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon King's daughter built a, a tunnel between New Albany and Louisville. Spinelli's to run sushi. Spinelli's built a tunnel so they could uh, cut down on delivery costs yeah. for their drivers. <laughs> oh, that would suck. Uh, Delivering across the river. Oh, that would be awful. I yeah. would quit my job the moment that delivery came in. It is funny that they're like, "Hey, if you don't want to pay the toll to cross the bridge, there's another bridge you can cross. You just have to go through the center of downtown." <laughs> And you then you cross to... the river, and then it drops you off in the center of another downtown. Yeah, you have to do this twice, yeah. by the way. <laughs> yeah. You're going to do it again. Yeah. So do you want to save $4 <laughs> that will slowly become $80? <laughs> or and, and, do you want to drive through downtown yeah. while you're running late? And then a year and a half. Oh, but this was, this was going to be my side hustle, so I yelled. And then the woman next to me... She went, you should do that for me. No, the woman who's next to me, she was like, I have to go. I don't have enough money. She was like, I didn't think it was going to cost $150. And I was like, I was like, oh, if you call them and yell, they'll like completely, they'll like yeah. shut it down for you a little bit. And she was like, I already paid it. Now I don't have enough money for my tags. And I was like, I'm just going to set up with like a sandwich board outside of that office and be like, too many Riverlink fees? <laughs> I'll yell for you. I will yell. <laughs> I'll yell. Is this Eric again? <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, and then I just whispers his name yeah. in here, David yeah. Santos. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, no, they paid me the extra $10 to listen this time. Can you just go, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> just let it happen. Just let it happen. Come on. <laughs> The real, the real move would be just drive people around. I should just become an Uber driver. No, in the if would you get in my for people if I picked you up as an Uber driver, would you get in my car? No. 
<laughs> that's got to be the weirdest thing is when people you know are your Uber drivers. Oh, that's got to suck. It's got to be like worse than uh, when your boss is super swiping you on Tinder. Did that ever happened to you? No, but they uh, it did. It did. Uh, uh, you fucked your boss one time. No, comedians would always do that, and I'd be like, "Don't uh, do this. This is creepy." Yeah, that's not fun. I'm like, this isn't funny. No, that's not funny. I don't want to see you, and I'm thinking of my picturing who's going to be my wife. Yeah, you should definitely hit dislike. So the way I use Tinder is I put my phone. I mean, I don't use it now, but I put my phone behind a cutout I've made of me. Yeah. And a and a, a w- woman getting married, mm-hmm. and I cut out her face. Yeah. And I just put the phone. Mm-hmm. Swipe, line up the face, swipe, yeah. line up the face, there you swipe. Go. Yeah. You on one knee. Yeah. <laughs> I have multiple layouts. You got have, a lot of layouts. Because they have yeah. different photos. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, they it's whatever works. Daytime, nighttime, I got it. Whatever works. Yeah. If they're old, I I flip to the one where I'm old and we're we have kids. <laughs> oh. Are you, you on want, the, the dating apps? You want to do some taste tests again? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you have? I got lemon berry gourmet cookies. No. It's woman owned, so it would be kind of rude for you to turn it down, actually. Well, it'd be rude for me to consume it. I'm a man. But. No, I'll try a cookie. <laughs> I was in Oxford. Ooh, it's a soft cookie. Ooh. It was very lemony. You haven't even tasted it yet. I can smell oh, it. Oh, wow, that is very lemony. Lemon and chocolate? Lemon berry. Oh, lemon berry. That's nice. That is nice. People are making some nice uh, cookies these days. (laughs) It's cool that that the world's ending and, like, capitalism's, like, dying and everything. But Kit Kat's like, all right, let's pump out all these flavors. What about Lucky Charms? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) What what if we did a maple syrup Kit Kat? (laughs) I had something else in here. Fuck it, we're all about to die. I had something else in here. I guess it was just this mango. This is a gourmet cookie. This is... Do you believe this? Look at that packaging. Solely. One one half of an organic mango. And then look at that. No. <laughs> this thing's tiny. This is like... It's like half a business card. This is like if you folded up a business card. Yeah, this is like if you folded up a business card to like put weed on it to like <laughs> ingredients, organic mango. That's it. <laughs> well, it is solely mango then, but I don't think that's half a fucking mango. Made in Mexico. Maybe they have tiny mangoes. Mexican mangoes are notoriously small. <laughs> that's what I used to call my ex-wife's tits. <laughs> That's a Mexican mango. Huh? Some fucking Mexican mangoes in that. No wonder the baby's in the tenth percentile for weight. You've got these Mexican mangoes. <laughs> There's a lot we haven't discussed in the pod. My children, my my children, my, my ex-wife, <laughs> my 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 my, 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 for my, my Mexican importing business. <laughs> yeah. My fruit, my fruit, Mexican fruit importing business. I consider myself the Ralph Nader of snacks. <laughs> like, oh, this is an apple mango. <laughs> and the American consumer deserves more than... Well, than... do you want a quarter of a mango? <laughs> <laughs> a mango is so much, though. A mango is a lot. Like, I'm worried I'm going to eat so this. small. And then it's going to touch my saliva, and then it's going to expand <laughs> and, like, break my jaw. So suddenly there will be a quarter of a mango in my mouth. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be some Willy Wonka shit. You ate the, you just ate a whole quarter of a mango at once? Yeah. Oh, my God. Imagine yeah, I'm if you just it. done that for real. This is Imagine how, if you had actually just I eaten know. a quarter of a mango all at once. This is how, this is how Americans got obese. <laughs> they condensed our food too much. <laughs> they made it too easy to eat. Like, like hey, now you can have a full spaghetti dinner, but it's, it's only, it only feels like half a spaghetti dinner. <laughs> half fucking five. <laughs> this is a good mango. I'm going to be honest, I did not feel like an eighth of a mango. No. I, I pussied out. Dan ate a whole quarter of a I mango a whole all quarter of mango. Bit and all. Dan is a four-bite mango man. Yeah. I am a eight-bite man. <laughs> you think they have options where they're like, it's a whole dried mango. Peel or no peel. <laughs> <laughs> this one has the core. 
I do love a mango slice, but the idea of individually packaged mango slices is a little disgusting. To no, me. that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what's on the back of this package. You just ate one half of a mango. <laughs> Thumbs up. Are you? Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, they're really into it. Because look on the front, it says just one ingredient. <laughs> they're like so brat. They're like. <laughs> I feel like they fucked with us. I feel like in their mind, it's 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 absurd that we ate half a mango. <laughs> like you fat ass, you just ate half a mango. Hey, before you eat another one of these, you fucking hide. <laughs> Make do, you sure like that... a, do you think it's like a Laffy Taffy where like the next one of these I open, it's going to be like, you're only one away from a whole mango. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a mango in one bite? Who would have ever guessed? A mango pit. I guess it's a pit. Uh, there's a pit in or a mango. A yeah. Mangoes taste like gasoline. I though. never know what that to call that. Th- I can never that mango isolate. didn't taste like gasoline. Mangoes don't taste like gasoline. That's just because I spilled gasoline all <laughs> yeah. over those mangoes. That's just you buy mangoes <laughs> exclusively from the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Louisville is a lot of fruit salesmen. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, papaya. We, I would buy a street side papaya. I don't. I don't, I don't even know which one of papaya. Street is. side papaya sounds like some weird slang. Street side papaya. You ever had a little uh, street side papaya? That was uh, Perry Farrell's opening project for the James <laughs> Addiction Reunion tour. <laughs> and don't, don't forget to show up early for the street side papaya disco tent. <laughs> with... oh. what, which one is a papaya? The one with all the weird fucking seeds in the middle. I feel like the papaya gets away with people thinking it's a mango. Uh, a papaya... It's the same color. No, but not even the look of the fruit, but just like flavor. If people are like, ah, papaya, whatever, margarita. I don't think I've ever had a papaya. Yeah, like, what the, f- like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is this fucking shit? Pawpaw. That can't be, that's not Did the you same. you just get a call though. from your grandfather? <laughs> yeah, I got a call from my grandfather. <laughs> no, th- this is saying that a papaya is a pawpaw. But isn't pawpaw fucking that shit that, like, West Virginia people eat? I like this. The Wikipedia page for, for papaya has a photo of different birds eating papaya. And it's four different photos of birds. Oh, no, it's actually five different photos of Are birds. Are you telling me that that Wikipedia page is for the birds? Yeah, it's for the birds. <laughs> Show me an adult eating a papaya. <laughs> I'd love to be that model. Now I want to see a baby eating a papaya. You may have seen your next comic on the Wikipedia page for papaya. <laughs> He's, eating, he's enjoying a slice. Now show me a Thai guy eating a papaya salad. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a Thai guy papaya salad. Let's make it with AI art. Turn off safe search. <laughs> oh my god, Eric, that's why you wanted to search this. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were a director. <laughs> <laughs> this papaya salad looks wild. Have you had a papaya salad? Did you know that was a thing? Yeah. Delicious. Do they have that at your work? Yeah. Great. So they so you know about papayas. So why are you over Papaya like... salad doesn't really look like papaya though. Yeah, but you have you eaten it? Yeah. So. No, did you ever watch this The Wild Boys? Yeah, I watched it. You did watch Wild Boys. I had to jerk off to something. What? <laughs> the animals or are... <laughs> guys are hot. They're always in bikinis. They are hot. I do watch that show and I am like, I get it. No, they're sexy. I always was confused by Chris Pontius because I he was in a thong, so in my mind I'm like, oh, he's the sexy one. Yeah. Which I don't think that was ever supposed to be the thing. No. But now as an adult, I'm like, oh, he is the sexy. He is the sexy. He's one. He's the big D E, as the kids yeah. say. Have your pa- have your kids tell you what that one means. I watched some. It was like a little like Vice piece that they did about. He did like some thing that was called like it was like the war war camp or war war room war room and he um but it was just like one of those like conferences that all these people all these fucking grifters do now where they just talk for an hour and charge people yeah. way too much fucking money and so uh fucking tate is on like stage talking to the people and like his whole like uh his whole team is like around him he's got this team you know <coughs> oh yeah and uh 
I call him the pussy posse. And they put <laughs> it in like a different way. And the, <laughs> and the guy making the documentary is like, I don't, no one knows what he's going to say when he gets on stage. And so he like talks for a little bit and then he goes, so what's going to happen is you guys all have an hour to decide if you want to all get paired off and UFC fight the person you're paired off with. And then immediately everyone on his team comes up behind him and is like, hey, man, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, we don't, like, this is not. And then Andrew Tate's response is, no, we have ambulances waiting. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's like a good way to solve that problem. And then all these people are like, they, they get up and they're like, are we going to get like an opportunity to like train or anything before this? And his response is, if you haven't been training for this moment for your entire life, then you're never going to be ready for anything. He's right there. <laughs> he is right there. It was one of the most crazy things. So this must have seen. been an old thing. So did these people all fight? I don't know. I, what happened? Uh, my phone died. My <laughs> free trial to Andrew Tate's <laughs> bitch school for boys. <laughs> inspired. <laughs> that is really funny. Uh, you made it sound like there was another option. What was the other option other than MMA? Quit. Play? Oh, quit. Just oh, like okay. uh, just like leave. <laughs> like, That's pretty get, funny. You can fight or you can get the fuck out. <laughs> or we can split into groups of seven. And do like mock UN, <laughs> like crisis. Or we can split in. We can all get into groups of four and play Magic the Gathering Commander style. Or I could just do this classic lecture style. Or me up here. We can also do Q and A. Or I'm also a trained pianist. Does anyone like Chopin? Is he a trained pianist? <laughs> uh, I feel like he can play the piano, but I feel like I'm also making that up. I feel like I'm conflating that with the fact that his dad like played chess. You gotta have a you gotta have a thing. So he that, did a guitar motion when I said he was a piano player. No, I know, but I mean, like, you got if you're like a person in the media who's yeah. trying to be like, I'm a I'm a polymath. Yeah, you have to have some dumb skill so that people are yeah. like. Also, he he fucking does Rubik's yeah. cubes. I hate that like they would have like Anna Kendrick on those talk shows and she would be like, I can really do it. And I'm like, do what? Like the cup thing. Like there was something in one of the pitch. Perfect oh, movies. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. And she was like, yeah. And she was like, I can really do it. And I'm like, I just you hit something on my computer <laughs> and I think I've never seen popped up. <laughs> I don't know what I hit. I just uninstalled my operating system trying right. to impersonate Play that Anna, Anna Kendrick. Kendrick song in reverse. <laughs> so I can fucking un- flip that in reverse. <laughs> I got to do it the opposite. <laughs> I wish you'd spilled your water all over at that time. That would have been great. <laughs> yeah, I was doing Anna Kendrick. Can y'all fix this? <laughs> got my geek squad. <laughs> the bag dripping water. <laughs> But yeah, she was on some talk show, and she was like, I can do it. I'm like, you did it in the movie. Yeah. Like, we all watched you. Yeah. Do, we know you can do it. It's also not that impressive. It's also just you slapping shit. It's very, I'm ba- I'm horrible at drumming, and it's like, I can do it. <laughs> like, it's not a thing. It's very easy. You gotta get a haircut soon, man. What? I just got a haircut. No, I just need to style it. You're just not styled? No, I took a shower. Oh, okay. I've been taking a lot of showers. Because I got sick. I got a little bit of a cold, so I'm like, yeah. I'll take a shower, and then it'll be like a sauna. But in reality, yeah. it's like I'm pooping while the hot water's going for like 20 minutes, and then I get in, and it's really cold. <laughs> and then 10 minutes later, I'm shivering, and I'm like, fuck. This didn't work Well, at I all. still have shampoo in my hair, so I have to get back in I there. I guess I have to stick around. <laughs> yeah, There's nothing worse than a shower that you gotta stick around I gotta for. take it. You gotta do it. This, this, this group... <laughs> <laughs> shoe polish has to come off <laughs> or I'm going to be in trouble <laughs> I cannot go to work like this there's no way I'm going to get in the way with this it's the next day and you're going to work and people are like you get a tan recently and you're like damn I didn't wash it off enough. damn fuck I guess there's still some left <laughs> fuck you've been hitting the beach <laughs> He was making fun of bands for like charging for meet and greets. Oh yeah, yeah. And he was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, the idea that they pay like all this money for tickets and like bought a record and like bought merch and then like I'm gonna charge them like another hundred dollars to like say hi and take a picture for fifteen seconds. Yeah. Like, he's like, I think it's gross. And then the article was like, 
What What's-His-Face doesn't realize is that touring is the only way most bands make their mm. money these days. And I'm like, yeah, man, but, like, fucking... A meet and greet is fucking different. yeah fucking like grocer yeah. isn't doing like a meet and greet like yeah. they're not there's not some band playing it at a bar it's like except for Afro Man who did that but that's Afro, but that, he's a celebrity <laughs> that's he's a he's a singer rapper and musician yeah when I saw Celebrity Death <laughs> slot machine yeah there was not a meet and greet option I just went up and talked to them oh yeah and I do sell meet them, and greet tickets and bothered them <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Apparently they all thought I, I was tickets. making fun of them. I sold tickets where it's if you buy this ticket, it's more money, but I won't try to get you to buy a t-shirt as you leave. Have you ever thought about uh, scalping your own tickets? I do that a lot. <laughs> I buy them all, and then uh, I'm just trying to help Eventbrite. <laughs> this guy did that. This guy was trying to make himself look like he was selling tickets to Planet of the Tapes. Yeah. For this like weekday show we put on, and he bought five tickets, and it's like Planet of Tapes sees your fucking name. Yeah, that's not that's and also, not a great. No one's gonna show up now. Yeah, and also you're just losing money. Like, yeah. you're... at 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 best, if you really want to pull this off, buy a Visa gift card, buddy. <laughs> buy a Visa gift card, so it doesn't have your name on it. Oh, <laughs> well, you still would have like an email associated. Get a fake Yahoo. Get a fake Yahoo. David Blaine 69. David Blaine 69. <laughs> <at> Yahoo.com. <laughs> oh, wow. David Blaine's coming to the show. <laughs> but I bet we won't even see him. Damn, David Blaine didn't show up. <laughs> exactly. Or did he? <laughs> Uh, David Blaine's here at my comedy show. I feel so honored. And then you see, like, the, ne the, the next David Blaine special. He subjects himself to horrible art. <laughs> God damn it. David Blaine is at an open mic for his 14th hour. Let's see how long he can last. That'd be great. They, just, they should. David Blaine should have been at the, uh, the at those Nashville 24 hour comedy shows. Oh, absolutely. He should have been in the audience the entire time as just like yeah. an endurance test. People should do like that. Should be a fear like a fear factor <laughs> episode should have been a bad like. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to sit for eight hours at the comedy store in the late 90s when it's yeah. bad. When it yeah, it is awful. No one here. But hey, should we announce the big news? Fine, you can Funny Dinner in. will be doing a live weekly show from the mothership in Austin, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> we uh We got in on on Tom uh, on Burt Kreischer's private jet flights. Yeah. <laughs> we got so We now, get to come on as luggage. Every uh, rent uh, at eight. <laughs> yeah. At eight. <laughs> you got it. No, the comedy mothership. Roseanne was there. Tim Dillon. It was great. TD. TD. Tim Dillon RB? brought out Roseanne. RB and T. RB and TD. Roseanne Barr. Roseanne Bard. She's not allowed to go plays anymore. Everyone hates her. She, where do you think she's barred from? Nowhere. Uh. Oh, actually, Twitter. I think. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to say? <laughs> Although now Ooh, Elon Musk is... is anyone kicked off Twitter now? Other than, like, people who are just like... No, Roseanne's still off. Okay. Elon doesn't like, um, women. He doesn't. Who is Elon fucking these days? Elon, who are you fucking? Elon, now let us know. Who are you, get, who are you dipping your wicked? What is this? This is chocolate quinoa? The chocolate quinoa God damn it, you can read that shit that far away? Is that really what this down? is? Yes, that is what it is. Huh. Dark chocolate and sea salt, it, sound, it tastes gross to me already, and I just had a little... No, it's good. It's like a... You like this It's like shit? if you washed a Crunch Bar. Like if you melted a bunch of the chocolate off a Crunch Bar. <laughs> it's just Crunch Bar. Just Crunch. All Crunch. All Crunch. <laughs> oops. Oops. Yeah, oops. All, all crunch. crunch. Yeah. But you see what I mean, though? Yeah, I can see that. If you wrap this with, like, an actual amount of chocolate, then you have a real fucking treat <laughs> on your hands. <laughs> I don't even fucking know what quinoa is. And this snack is that. undercover. This is the creepiest snack I've ever seen. Oh, none of these pack... All these packagings are very creepy. Undercover. Dark chocolate and sea salt. Do air... Is there just fake airplane food? 
Like if I if we Google this, fine. I've been lying. <laughs> no, like if we Google, I've made all these on my own independently. <laughs> if we Google this brand, is it just gonna be like American Airlines website? <laughs> Probably, yeah. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. It redirects us to just buying tickets. It would not surprise me if it was somehow just like, it fucking solely... (laughs) Congrats! You ate half a mango! You did it. (laughs) You fucking did it. You just ate half a mango. And that was it. Just one ingredient. You know who probably ate half a mango? Some guy who sucked Chris Gatan's dick in the the early 2000s. Probably, yeah. I'm eating half a mango. I mean, uh, and then some other guy comes out and goes, oh, I had the whole mango. Whole mango. And the mango's like, whole? And he makes a scared face. I guess I'm thinking of Mr. Peepers. No, you're make, you're thinking of the right Chris thing. Kattan was a... So versatile. Not too talented. So versatile. <laughs> All right, a... bring us home on a not Chris Kattan, not... I'm just glad Norm MacDonald died before he had to see that Chris Kattan is taking over James Corden live. <laughs> uh, uh, turnstile. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be Liza. Is Chris Gatan bringing turnstile. I thought it was gonna be Liza Minnelli, not Liza Minnelli. Lisa Lampanelli. <laughs> oh really? All right, that would have came out a little better. <laughs> Man, Liza Minnelli's cool as shit, dude. Liza Minnelli would be a fun pick just for anything. I was watching Arrested <laughs> Any Development. Any single thing. No, she's cool, man. Yeah. I was watching Rest of the Woman, and I was like, I fucking, I love that. I'm... No, she's awesome. Because they're all like, they're all jokingly like hooking up with her, and I'm like, I fuck this shit out of old ass Liza Minnelli. I'm fucking Liza Minnelli right over. Also, she's like an old lady. At one point, she was married to that gay guy. Yeah. And everyone's like, that guy's gay. And she's like, nah, we're like married. It's fine. That's cool, though. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, yeah, like, that's cool. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Some old lady was like, no, I'll marry my gay friend. I don't like, give a fuck. I'll help him do his weird charade. Yeah, no. I mean, she sort of did that with fucking... I don't know if you ever watched that. Uh, it's uh, It was on Netflix. It's this uh, Ewan McGregor thing called Halston, where he's like a hat designer from like the fucking like, late 60s. Sounds cool. It, it is. It's got a lot of Ewan McGregor just fucking guys in the ass. Is and then McGregor? also his voice is so like... He's like Hello, darling. Oh, my God. Yeah. You little peach. Oh. But he's like some dude from, like, fucking, like, Arkansas well, because he has mercury shit. poisoning. Yeah, he's slowly dying. Does he have mercury? Is that a real part of his no. mercury poisoning? He has yeah. AIDS at the end. That's but... what Matt as a hatter is about. Uh, the phrase. Really? Yeah, because they used to make hats out use, of mercury. Yeah, use mercury to stiffen wool, I guess, or something. Like, stiffen huh. fabric. So hatters would go crazy. <laughs> Hatters. Mad as a hatter. That'd You're be, as calm as a cobbler. That'd be a fun job. To, yeah. <laughs> that'd be a fun job to bring back. If someone's like, "You're a clothing designer." Uh, I'm a hatter. I think of myself as a hatter. Hatters are back, baby. You hatter. haven't seen those? I think of myself as, if I were. If I don't do scarves. I don't do gloves. I don't you do see hats. those people? You see how many people are walking around in those dumb fucking little flat billed round hat? I got my vacation hat, hat coming things. in the mail right now. Is that what it is? From REI. Which That's is, fine. Uh, uh, really? Everyone's interested. No, it's just I, I, didn't, I wasn't doing the letters. <laughs> no, I, you ever been to an REI? No. It's funny because it's like they're like, oh, over there we have a tundra underwear for like researchers in, in the Arctic. Yeah. And it's like, do you really need a brick and mortar store for this? Yeah, I know. It's like me at a cricket store. Yeah, like, dude, you, you're telling me that you can't just do that. People who need thermal socks. Yeah. You can't just mail them out? Come on. Yeah. Who needs these tomorrow? Yeah, you guys are supposed to be this outdoor store, yet you're in the mall. You should be in the woods. Yeah. Why aren't you in the middle of the tundra? I should see, I should see REI. If you're going to sell woods. tundra stocks, open up in the tundra, you yeah. dumb bitch. Because also they'd probably be way more and business. And then they go, can you, hey, you took those scissors from behind the counter. Can you put them down <laughs> and leave, please? <laughs> you can't just take paper clips from the, from the desk. <laughs> That's a lot of pens. <laughs> <laughs> if you want one, I'm cool. That's but why that's... I feel that FedEx is like, I'll get some prints and then I'll help myself to the... Uh, pens? Oh, no, no, it's, it's rubber bands and paper clips. Oh, yeah. But I always feel like I'm helping myself to like... <laughs> Ooh, maybe I'll need some of these around the house this week. Mm. I'll get a pocket full. Why not? 
Yeah. I want to steal tape, but I always feel like that's that's too mean. All right. Well, uh... Because they know if you steal, if someone stole the tape. Did you know that, uh... Do you know that Mr. Hands, that horse, you know Mr. Hands, Mr. Right? Hands was the uh, guy. Yeah, the guy. The horse's name was Fred. And the horse I don't <laughs> No, did you actually know that the horse, it was actually a police horse? The horse died. It was actually a police horse. The horse actually died because that guy's anus Let me was tell the fucking tight. joke and end this goddamn podcast. I didn't think it was a joke. I thought, it, I thought you were telling me a, a real anecdote, a real news story. That would be funny though if the horse also died because like its cock got it would be smashed funny. up. It would be funny if only the horse died. Yeah. Like his asshole was so tight that like it yeah. like crinkled up his cock and like yeah. he, like in he died of internal bleeding, yeah. not Mr. Hands. Oh no. Um but anyways, did you know that uh so Mr. Hands, uh the horse that fucked him is actually a police horse. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah. Well I did. It- by from moments. Are ago. you ever gonna let me tell this joke? <laughs> I, I know now. <laughs> I just wanted to be honest. What is happening? I just wanted here? to be honest about what I didn't, didn't know. It's not even a good joke. I'm just trying to end this. I didn't on think something. it was a joke. You know, I, well, I've told you once. You know, they were originally gonna call it Mr. Hand, and then they saw how big his cock was, and they're like, we should call it well, guy, well, Mr. Hand. Mr. Mr. Hands <laughs> times two. Yeah, we I mean, need it's <laughs> Be a team effort to get him him off. Mr. Hands of a <laughs> could join twin. Yeah, he should hire gorillas to beat off horses. <laughs> sounds like they sounds like they do. It sounds like they do already. I've yeah. heard rumors. Yeah. So Mr. Hands. So he. Uh... Hey, so you, you, I'll just set it up naturally. <laughs> Hey, so you hear anything about Mr. Hands? There's news. <laughs> Any updates on the Mr. There's Hands news. situation? There's news. Mr. He, Hands. The horse that that uh, fucked him, that killed him, it actually it ended up it was a police horse. Wow. Do you know that? No. Egg crab. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? A little egg cab joke yeah. there. You get it? <laughs> See, it wasn't worth the wait. You would have just let me tell it. A, a cab for police horses stands for apple, chomp, apple. Oh, wait, you're right. Yeah, it's a, hey man, a, C, well, no, it doesn't work like that. A cab. A cab. No, you got to do the C. Yeah. A, Why do horses do that? They're just fucking trying to be annoying. Like, they're so big they're and shit, and they're just like, boom, 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 doing raspberries. Like, did horses, were horses, like, around, was the first horse around with, like, a grandma washing her granddaughter? <laughs> like, who's a baby? They're I like, guess oh, they that, like that. Yeah, I guess that's a thing we can I can do. do that, too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, man, right, you ever well, been attacked um, by wild ponies? I'm allergic to horses. Really? Yeah, I know, I'd be fucked anytime. But you use horse hair shampoo. Uh, well, it sounds like a joke, but I remember that from when Eric and I shared a shower. He had I some shampoo to... that I always thought was for I horses. To, I want you to work out the idea of what a horse hair shampoo is in your mind. In your mind, just work that out. No, it's a horse hair. Did you think it's a there shampoo was... made you... of horse hair? You... <laughs> <laughs> it make like a stew, <laughs> and then you get all the nutrients. <laughs> I'm gonna, because a horse has such awesome hair. It's like, I'm gonna fucking, I'll drink it. <laughs> I'm gonna drink dr- that shit. I'm gonna drink it now. Can horse. I get a horse hair margarita, please? Oh, wait, is horse hair, does that mean that your hair's a wig? And that it's like, for maintaining your horse hair? <laughs> That's more of a weave. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. All right, well, uh... This podcast is Churchill done. And tell the folks at home that you love them. I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not... Listen, it's not, it's not me, it's you, guys. <laughs>